Chapter 2. Cain is growing up now. In this chapter, you will see how much Cain has grown, how bigger he is, and what a big dog he has become. His owners have been watching Cain while he has been growing since he's been in their care. Lauren and Ronald have been discussing how much larger he has become. So, Ronald decided to go and purchase a larger crate for him to stay in. And I'm sure Cain was glad to be getting a new crate too. Cain was beginning to stand tall now on his two back legs. And on July 27, 2020, he was outside looking into the streets and around the yard letting the neighbours know that he was on guard duty now of watching out for his granny Sarah and his owner Lauren. If anybody stepped foot in this yard, they were going to have to deal with him. He let everybody know that passed by on that street to know that he was the king up in their place. And he was glad to be letting everyone know it. He would always sit close to his granny Sarah and lay his head on her lap whenever he had the chance to. When he would do this, she would always pat and rub him, telling him he was Granny's baby. She loved him, and he loved her too. Kane made this very clear the day the plumber came to fix the pipe that was clogged up. He sat by her the whole time he was there, and he barked at him to let him know he was there to guard his Granny. Granny Sarah reassured Kane that everything was going to be all right, and then he stopped barking and sat still. He would watch the plumber closely as he entered in and out of the house making sure that the plumber didn't bother Granny Sarah. This pleased Granny Sarah to know that Cain loved her so much that he was on guard the whole time making sure she would be all right. Then the plumber finished. She paid him and he left. Later when the plumber had left, she gave him some treats for being such a good guard dog. He was eating those bacon strips like they were going out of style. Then he started playing with his toys. As the day went by, he was getting tired so he decided to go inside his crate to get comfortable by laying on his back and took a nap. He was well relaxed and was glad to get some rest after being on guard duty for Granny Sarah. As she was watching him sleeping in his crate, she decided to snap a picture of him. He looked so cute lying there on his back with his legs up in the air. Then she texted the picture to Lauren and told her what happened. Lauren laughed and was happy to know that he was looking out for her mama. Lauren then FaceTimed her mother and said, I have something to show you, are you watching? She said, yes, what is it? Lauren then showed her another dog that she had with her. Granny Sarah was frantic about what she had just seen. Why, she couldn't believe that Lauren had gone and gotten another dog and they were still trying to train Kane and keep him under control. Granny Sarah said, we can't take on another dog right now. Kane is all that we can handle right now. Lauren laughed and said, calm down, Mama, he is the neighbor's dog. I'm just keeping him for a little while, that's all. Granny Sarah took a deep breath and said, thank God. She was wondering how she was going to help her with another dog. Lauren said, but I figured Kay needed a playmate to keep him company. Granny Sarah said, well, he has enough family to keep him company. Lauren laughed and said, well, I have to get back to work. Granny Sarah said, all right. I will talk to you later. Since Kane had become part of the family now, Granny Sarah would take him around some of the other family members. She would make sure they all knew who Kane was. He barked at them on the first, but when she explained to him that they were family and these were your cousin, aunt and friends, he calmed down and showed them love by trying to go with them and licking on their faces and hands. This is how he would bond with you. Soon, it was time for Kane to go over to his friend's house to play. His friend's name was Zoe. She was a little older than Kane, but they played well together. And not to mention Zoe's owner was one of Lauren's best friends. These dogs would run around in this big fenced in backyard and have the best time of their lives. It must have been love at first sight because these two were becoming quite chummy. The reason why Granny Sarah had this thought was because there was another picture that had surfaced and they looked to be doing more than just playing. It looks like Zoe was trying to sneak a kiss on Kane. This would explain why Kane was so eager to go over to Zoe's house to play. It seemed like he had a crush on her. Or maybe this picture looked like they were trying to kiss. Or maybe they were both thirsty for water with their tongues hanging out. You know, looks can be deceiving. But you didn't hear this from me, said Granny Sarah under her voice. Anyway, 
She was glad that Cain and Zoe had a good friendship and he had found someone who could understand him in his language. This way he didn't feel like he was all alone, even though he had a lot of people who loved and cared for him. By now, Cain had different individuals coming up to his owner asking, is this Cain? And she would answer yes. The little boy named Troy was with his friend and said, his name is Cain and I know him. Cain was beginning to be popular now. Soon afterwards, it was time for Cain to go back home and leave Zoe. When Cain went home, he was so tired from running and playing a lot with Zoe while he was over to her house. So, when he went to sleep, Granny Sarah decided to take another picture of him whilst he was laying in his bed. He always looked so precious. There wasn't enough words to express how he looked. Granny Sarah knew he was tired from the way he was snoring, and she filmed him snoring as well. She had heard him snore before, but it was nothing like the snoring he was doing on this day. She enjoyed having him lay beside her by her bed while she was watching television. He was a sight for sore eyes to see. Before he went to sleep, she caught him watching television for a few minutes. He was learning to pick up on different things as he was growing up. You could tell he was spoiled, and I'm sure Granny Sarah had a lot to do with him being spoiled. On September 8, 2020, Cain was going for a second grooming visit to have his toenails trimmed. Carrie, Lauren's friend, was coming to get him to take him to have it done. She would ask to take him with her when she would have to take Zoe to have hers done. This would help Lauren out because she was busy trying to hold down two jobs to help pay for some of the things Cain needed in taking care of his personal needs. And Ronald would take care of the rest of them. Since Cain was getting bigger and learning more about being disciplined, Lauren and Granny Sarah decided to let him attend their parking lot service on one Sunday morning in September 2020. Yes, they would have the service in their cars due to coronavirus. This was to help keep everyone safe while they were having church. Cain was good at first, but then he wouldn't be still. He wanted to get up front with them and lick on them. This was because he felt like he was being left out. Being in the back seat by himself, he was beginning to feel lonely. He was barking and didn't want to play anymore with his toys that they had brought with them for him to play with. This is when they decided he wouldn't be able to attend church with them too many more times. Not unless they could think of a better plan. When they got home with him, he was able to run and jump into Granny Sarah's lap for her to pat and rub on him once again. He was happy now he had their attention. Being the centre of attention made him so happy. How you could always tell. He would wag his tail jump up and down and with excitement and he would take off running through the house as fast as he could. He was running so fast you would have thought he was at a dog race or something. This is why they had to put him back into his crate from time to time and they taught him not to run in the house by saying no and stop. He soon learned that he was to wait until he went outside to run and play. Everything's straight. Because if it's not, he's going to take care of it. <laughs> 